new features on the Start menu. In Windows 7, you have much more control over the programs and files that appear on the Start menu. The Start menu is essentially a blank slate that you can organize and customize to suit your preferences, including pinning applications, using jump lists, libraries, and search tools. To get started, click on the Start menu. In here you'll notice the most recent programs or applications I have open. To find additional programs such as maybe Microsoft Word or Excel, we can do it one of two ways. We can use the All Programs options, and by clicking on this we'll drill down to a specific folder location. I can also click back to get back up a level as well. So as I click in the All Programs, I'll navigate down to my folder list, and a couple of areas along the way here, the accessories is where you can find your calculator and a new option called the snipping tool, which is a screen capturing tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find Microsoft Word. So I'm going to find the Microsoft Office folder, click on it once, that will expand the folder showing me all of the Microsoft applications that are available, and I'll click on Microsoft Word. After I'm done using the program, I would just click on the X, close the program out. Now since that was a most recent program that I've opened up, I can now come to my Start menu, and I can see Microsoft Word is in my list of recent programs. Let's say I want to find Microsoft Excel, but I don't really want to go through the All Programs and click on a bunch of folders. Well, we have a new option called Search Programs and Files, and all I have to do is just start typing in the program or the file that I'm looking for. And I'm looking for Excel, so I'm going to start typing in a few letters here. And notice that I found the Excel program that I'm looking for, but I've also found some documents and even some Outlook contacts that might have the word EXC in there. And there's some additional files that you can see here as well. I'll go ahead and click on Microsoft Excel. And when you're finished, you would close out the program. And when we go under the Start menu, you'll also see Microsoft Excel in the list. One of the features that we have or can do here is we can pin the applications. Let's say for instance I only open up Microsoft Word once a month and I've opened up a lot of additional programs in between. Well what's going to happen is as you open up more programs it's going to fill this area here up. And once it's filled up, if there's a program that you haven't used for a period of time, Microsoft's going to remove that and put in the new program here because this is the most recent so things are rotating out unless you pin it. So pinning allows us to have that icon or that program remain in the start menu for however long we would like it to be there. And to do this all you have to do is right click on whatever program, icon, folder, whatever you have in the start menu here and you'll get a list of options. One of the options is to pin to start menu. This will move it up the list and you'll notice a faint line right under it. So even if I don't use Microsoft Word for a period of time, it will always remain in my Start menu. I can do the same with Microsoft Excel as well, and I'll pin it to the Start menu. Notice this moves up as well. Now there's other advantages to having programs pinned to your Start menu as well, and I want to show you this. I'm going to go out and find and open a Word document. I'm going to open up this acceptance letter editing text. Let's say I've done some work to it and I save it and I close it out. And this could be today, later on, it could be tomorrow, next week. I want to find this file that I had open just recently. Well, I'm going to go back to my start menu and I'm going to hover over the W and notice the recent list of Word documents I've had open and the acceptance letter editing text is the one that's right here. Also when I hover over these little shortcuts, and they are shortcuts, they are not the actual file, when I hover over one of these shortcuts notice the push pin. And if I push the pin in, it moves it into a pinned area. Very similar to what we did here. Now when we pin the application, what we're saying is I want the application to remain in the start menu. When I pin in the jump list here, I'm saying I want the link to that particular document to be available anytime. Because these are recent, and what they're going to do is eventually, if I don't open them up, something's going to take its place, and they're going to keep recycling out. This is not. It will always be here. Now, if you want to undo any of this stuff, it's very easy. To unpin a particular 
document in this case, I would just push the pin back in. It'll move it back into the recent and it will eventually cycle out. If you would like to cycle it out even faster, you can right click on any of the links and you can remove it from the list. That is the same thing that's true here. If this is all full of you know, other applications or programs and you'd like to remove some of those and have more of the recent ones up here, you can just right click and you can remove from the list. And that is some of the new features found on the Start menu using Windows 7.